Apple hit the Big Apple to unveil its plans to revolutionize the way kids learn. I think you can see immediately, these are gorgeous, gorgeous books. They're really in a class by themselves in terms of rich, engaging layouts. With a batch of new initiatives including iBooks 2, iBook Author, iTunes University app, Apple is trying to get schools and educators to shift from using heavy, expensive, outdated textbooks like the one that you see on that wall with new digital interactive versions made especially for the iPad that you see Apple reps demoing all around this room right now. What Apple has done is provided a very simple tool, a powerful tool that looks really good and works well. I love the preview on the iPad. They've gotten together with some very important and powerful partners who are already delivering textbooks into the education marketplace and they put it at a price point where I think the education system can get excited about it. So all those things together comprise a game changer for the education textbook market. Textbooks are a massive $10 billion industry, but there are big challenges that Apple faces. School budgets are very tight right now, and some people are worried about the durability of an iPad in the hands of grade children, and a lot of these initiatives are aimed at kindergarten through high school. Still, Apple's track record speaks for itself, and the company says it is committed to reforming education. All of us at Apple know that you really can empower people through learning. And technology has a role to play to help in doing that. And it's one of the best things that's built into the culture at Apple, to care about learning and to want to do our bit to help improve that process. Bill Schiller kicked off this event saying education is deep in our DNA. If Apple succeeds, it may turn out that future generations of students have a little bit of Apple in their DNA. Maggie Lake, CNN, New York.